what is going on guys it's your boy Slippy Snake with another video today today guys I have love I'll try to be I'll try to be professional oh my god yo what's going on oh my god yo what's going on everybody it's your boy Slippy Snake with another video today today guys we are back on Nice Chronicle going over why you need for the for the title and the thumbnail of the video um this is pretty cool I'm back on Nice Chronicle uh I've been playing it uh as much as I can for like a straight hour and I've literally just been upgrading trying to upgrade all my characters and trying to learn the game and um a beginner's guide will come soon on this game because i looked up um there's not a lot of beginner guys and a lot of stuff about this game that i need to know that uh i can tell you a lot of stuff about this game and i think a lot of people should know it uh this game been out for uh i guess almost a year over two years um but yeah i did a review on it earlier and y'all seem that y'all like this game so we're just going to be going over by Shneen. if you don't know who she is she is a character in this game all right guys, so yeah this is why Shneen right here as you can see this is level 50, uh, 52 i think the max level is 60 if i'm not mistaken guys so at max level you will obtain 10 crystals that's what every time you go up max level so you awaken the unit and it would go up to another certain level that you can max it out to then you enhance it to that level I have went to 40 to 50 to 50 to 52 I guess after 52 you will go to 54 56 after 56 you go 58 or 60 and you will have to enhance that character until that level 60 so right here we have the skill as you can see uh, ice cream Excuse me, increases attack allies by attack by 60%, increases all allies multi strike chance by 20% if Ruby Rose is in the party. Ruby Rose is also a character, I think. I also have two, if I'm not uh, mistaken. So we're gonna go to the passive skills right here, guys. And this is the glimpse, uh, obtains the glimpse of the start of the battle, inflicts additional damage to equal to 80% of damage dealt, and has 70%. 70%. A uh, chance to make a target unavailable to revive for one turn when attacking the caster has a kill. Okay, so as you see, I don't have the second one unlocked because I have to reach level 60, which is the max level for a character, or at least for the six star character that uh, that is masked for. So, uh, anyway, we go into the active skills right here. The active skills is what you would use when you're in the battle that I showed in the last video on the review that. Uh, is like the skills that you would use to attack the enemy so the number one skill this is inflicted damage to equals 100 percent of atk to our attacks target then at the second one we have frost blows the level one and consumes glint into the fifth damage and equal to 200 percent of attack to one target by the caster has a glimpse if the caster does not have a glimpse inflicts damage to 80 percent of attack to all enemies that attains the glimpse that's a glimpse that we talked about earlier uh, if I'm not mistaken, right here on the passive skill. So yeah, so you if you have that on the passive skill, it would come in for 200% attack. If you don't have it, it will have 80% attack. And we're going right here to the summon armor cases level one. Just so I have it right now. Inflict damage should equal to 300% of attack to one target. If caster has a glint, inflict damage to equal 120% of attack to three enemies. If caster does not have the glint. So, uh, it would do attack to three enemies if the attacker does not have the glimp. If it does have the glimp, it would only do damage, 300 damage to one target. So, uh, you can upgrade these, if I'm not mistaken, which you definitely can. Uh, some more things I would like to see from this game. It would go give us some more information about, uh, about more characters, like, if you, even if you don't have them. Like, I want more information about the character when I don't have him. That's what I want to know, and that's what I would like to see. All right, right here, guys, we got the close-up right here. And I'm sorry, I didn't say this before. We don't, I don't have a background or anything like that for the layout. So it's just my face cam and the gameplay. But right here, this is going to be the first skill that we are viewing. As you see, it's literally just a turn, you know, pop. Oh, my God, I clicked out. I'm sorry about that. It's turn, pop, legit like that. Now we're going to skill two, and this is what it is. Magic. Dab wrench. <laughs> okay. Now this is skill three, which is totally awesome. I love the animation on these. She goes into the night. So beautiful. She slams down the uh the sword and it does damage to the target. And it's a beautiful, it's a powerful attack. And this character is pretty awesome. You can't get this character right now. The character has went away, unfortunately. But this is one of the attack characters that is really good in the game. If you do have her, level her up, max her out, and use her. Alright guys, so these are the rules that I have on her. 
uh, of course I'm gonna put more runes on her but uh, all I want to say is that you don't want to put any rune on any character okay this is just the runes that I have for just playing pretty much today there's a couple of things that you want to know about runes that I have learned from just playing that are certain things with cer certain things will pop up in the runes like certain skills certain defense will pop up but let's go into this six star rune right here where it has an attack of 44 defense now just because it's a six star rune doesn't mean that you should put it on a certain character sometimes you will have 44 attacks sometimes you have 75 85 23 you never know so go for six stars runes once you grind runes and make sure that you're equipping the best one that you can you equipped on the best character that you can okay so on the rune of assault uh i have a defense of 44 so of course my i would get 44 plus to my defense with attack of 2.53 percent auto hp recovery 1.22 percent and attack with a 2.50 percent with a two set bonus of five percent critical strike increase now you can enhance equipped as you can see if you get the material that you can for it it actually shows you what i like about this game it shows you how to get the equipped or the material or the stones that you need to um enhance the ruins now it can be acquired for savaging ruins savaging higher grade ruins yields more uh enhanced stones ruins can be obtained from the ruined dungeon now i'm gonna show you where you can go to the dungeon guys um also i want to tell you guys this that do have epic quests that you can also clear and you can get units and uh, or characters and other um things that you can get it from now you can go right here to the challenges you can go to the special dungeons or anything like that or you can go to the story and it can have it has the dungeons on the side and you can go to the dungeons but right here these are the dungeons and you can go for the wind xp to get some xp for your characters and this forward to rank you up these are the ruin relic relic right here as you see i done the normal one i uh, haven't done the hard one yet but we will definitely hop into that we'll actually hop into it to get uh to show you these actually we can totally do that and uh so right here as you see from the review that i did it does show you the character list that's what i i love so much that it has about this game um i'm not saying this will be the main game for right now uh i'm still gonna be posting grand summoners guys so oh my god we went into it i have it on auto okay from the top right you can have on auto and anything like that I wanna go, I can't, I already did her thing. All right, I'm sorry, okay. Now, we're just gonna do the one star attack to pretty much my units are pretty much all, all RP. You can get a chance to defend. I'm gonna defend pretty much with anybody so I can just get back to reason. Okay, so right here, we're gonna do a one star attack. Oh, literally, it's a freaking my Mami's skin is, well, it's legit powerful, so powerful, dude. All right, we're gonna do your own one star attack because we're, we're just juicy like that. Uh, her one star attack because we're just you now I didn't upgrade all of these but uh nobody needs to be healed okay I didn't upgrade all these characters but um you know I don't need to upgrade them right now I'm in the beginning of the story um oh I only have four I can't use this yet so we're just gonna use our magic oh and I made her bleed now, when you is upgrading, when you're upgrading this character, you do have a talent section that you can upgrade. If you can pick the upgrade or the one that you want to equip onto your character once you enhance it and limit break your character, uh, I selected to where I have an attack on my second magic damage for weeks, so I can let them bleed. I will show you that in a couple minutes. All right, coming on to the last battle right here. We're just gonna do arrows of punishment for the home girl. You already know what we're gonna do. I just showed you last video. She pulls out the bow and it's so freaking beautiful. Penetration, demonstration, elimination. Okay, I don't know why I said that. Anyway, um, can I not heal myself? Oh, I can't heal myself. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. And I also heal the people around me. That's so beautiful. Sword dance because that's pretty much the only one that we got to do and we might as well do it. So, you know, right here, dude. <laughs> doesn't do any damage to us because it's just nothing no damage to us at all um one star attack i did her three star already because i had it on auto and i did it with the three star we hit so we will have to wait but we don't have enough so it's legit going because this is just the end right here 
All right, so now I'm gonna show you where you can go to upgrade your character and talent and everything like that. Now, right here, guys, this is where you can upgrade your character. So right here, I upgraded my Reese. You can't see her because she's really upgraded, so they don't show her in here or anything like that. Um. Oh God, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, so enhance hero evolve. So you want to go to level up to evolve to enhance hero. Like it's literally. I don't know if they have any order like that, but the talent hero talent that i was talking about right here once you get to level 50 it goes all the way to level 60. you can click which one you want to do and you want to enhance actually oh yeah let's do this right now so okay so i already upgraded my level 52 one so i got the 80 percent chance for the uh for the enemy to bleed when i use skill 2 so that's what happened when there was bleeding right there they popped up bleed over the enemy head that was what happened and i don't know which one i upgrade the attack or the elemental damage increase or the chance to recover HP I might do the HP because it seems like we have another attack on earlier yeah so we might just do the HP so we might just unlock that talent just for this one because we still have level 54 to 60 to get and we gotta claim the reward don't forget to claim your rewards guys uh, they have mission progress and everything like that so when you're doing this game and box collect all that is just for me so guys so once you get over here you can use an enhanced ticket to make your hero uh can enhance your hero and make film uh i, I know you get the purple star and you get the 10 percent attack crease and your stats get increased so when you use that enhanced hero um you just it you also get it when you make your character until level 50 and you evolve them but you can't do it unless you have the water in Zinnia. I don't know how to pronounce that, but you can acquire your plum. Dungeons, the special dungeon is Alsho from the guild dungeon. Uh, if you join a guild. I will be making a guild soon. So if you guys want me to make a guild and you want to join up, just tell me in the comments down below if you want to join. Now, you want to go to evolve here. You can evolve your character. Use these to evolve and you will evolve your characters. That's what I have done with my Whis. And also, you can limit break them right here, as you can see. So limit break. So this is how I got my ways to level 50 to level 52. I used this marvel, marvelous evolve mon, excuse me, and uh, I'll use my coins, which I always, I always had three billion. They all went away just because I was doing this. And um, you use it, you limit break it. Now you will go to level 52, level 54. And it just looks so beautiful. The animations in this game is awesome, guys. Uh, so then I would go back to level up. And I will literally just use these uh, Rainbow Mons to level up your character. And it takes coins. So you pretty much get coins from anything. You can also exchange coins from crystals, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think Rainbow Mons, if I'm not mistaken, gives you the most. But uh, once you hit max level, you can't do anymore max 54 and there we go max level has reached and now we can do another talent just want to say that guys but we have to get the essence and everything like that which you can get them from doing uh other dungeons and everything like that so you can awaken your heroes right here there's no heroes that can be awakened awakening is available once the hero is fully evolved leveled up and enhanced so awaken hero is literally legit the last thing you got to do so you got to level up you got to evolve them you got to enhance the hero then you have to limit break the hero like right here which i can't for no six stars heroes uh but then um you can enhance the skill don't need to do that and the talent so make sure you do that guys so you guys that's gonna be it for this video if you want me to go more in depth with this game and you want me to uh do some um beginner guides or guys over characters units uh dungeons guild uh anything about guilds you want to know or anything about ruins or anything in some sort or how to enhance a hero character anything like that just leave it in the comment down below and hit that like button for your boy it's been your boy sleepy snake if you want more videos like these if you want more nice chronicles please hit that like button and please comment down below and tell me if you like this game or not other than that i'll see you guys later my name is sleepy snake and i am out deuces